Seems like everybody lately has been talking about Timu. So I went out and bought $50 worth of prepping gear to see what's the quality like, whether it's worth you spending your money on it, and whether Timu is just a total scam or a great deal. So let's open up this package and see what I got. I'll give you a breakdown of the cost. And uh, at the end, we're gonna talk about some of the more fishy stuff that Timu has been doing lately. <laughs> I actually already opened this just to take a quick look so this wouldn't be a total waste of time. I was really hoping I was gonna get a good deal on this. <laughs> let's check out the quality guys. So first off is a tactical LED flashlight. Now, it looks good on the box. I mean, it kinda does. Let's open it up. Here it is. Now, I mean, you don't expect a lot. I will put pictures of each of the items from the website and we can compare. So now here's the deal. That looks pretty good. It really does. When you open it up, it feels like it's made out of cardboard. <laughs> you guys remember the toys you used to get when you go to somebody's birthday party when you're like five years old and you knew darn well that they filled the, the goodie bag with stuff from Dollar Tree? That's what this feels like. This feels like a toy my, the kids would play with at my wife's daycare. I honestly thought I had to supply the battery. Turns out I was wrong. Look at this, absolute piece of crap, I'm sorry. There is a battery in here, you can't feel it. It must be smaller than I don't even know what. If I put this on a scale, if it weighed two ounces, that would be it. There, there is nothing to this flashlight, guys. Ready? And a little side flashlight. LED readout there to show you what power level you're at. Just, that's your charge. That's kind of cool. USB port right there. It's a USB micro. Of course it is, because why would it be USB-C? Because USB micro is probably still really cheap. There's your first one. You ready for this one? Again, off-grid items, backup power items. I saw this, I thought, huh. Honestly, the picture in my mind made it look bigger than it was. <laughs> this is a water pump, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not a water pump like I thought it would be a water pump. This is like a toy water pump. It looks like an elementary school sharpener, and I think it weighs less than that. There's your cord, nice long cord, but there ain't much to this. All there is is like a little push fitting right there. Apparently it's an aquarium pump. Not much, I picked it up thinking, hey, this might be good for rain barrels and that sort of thing. Um, six watts, 350 liters per hour. So divide that by four, you're looking at right around 90 gallons per hour. So a gallon and a half per minute. Not too shabby, I guess. Next, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> oh boy. And uh, I forgot to mention, this box came completely crushed like this. This box came just like this in the package. I really expected this to be a much better package, a much bigger package as well. A little cardboard would have helped. So here's the next one. I bought this thinking maybe it could be a very inexpensive option to my everyday carry stream light. There it is. Here's the problem again, guys. Very, very, very light, but it is metal. So I'm gonna put some batteries in this. This could be, I don't know, we will see. This could absolutely be the diamond in the rough. The last item that's in here, I don't wanna jinx it. I have a feeling this is gonna be the biggest disappointment. You ready for this? So I ordered what they called, well, you know what? A little more suspense. You ready for this? This is supposed to be a 30 watt solar panel. Yeah. I did the foldable 18 watt solar panel from Harbor Freight the other day, and it was roughly four times this size. This is not a 30 watt solar panel. This is more like a cutting board you get at Dollar Tree. However, it does have a USB port on the back, and if it's in some sun, you see that red light, it does come on. So we are gonna test this. I will put it to the test. This honestly looks a lot like the one and a half watt dashboard solar panel I just picked up from Harbor Freight. This right here, let me look at the price for you. $23 for that. Whew. Yeah. These are the descriptions, I'm gonna read them to you. LED, rechargeable tactical flashlight with multifunction display. Super bright, $5.48. Canadian prices here, guys. LED pen light with clip, 500 lumen, mini pocket, medical pen light inspection flash, 427. Could be the best price. 
Submersible water pump, ultra quiet for aquarium, fish tank, pond, fountain, 935. One piece, 30 watt, portable solar panel, five volt solar plate with USB safe charge, stabilized battery, 2297. So let's test this shit out and see if it is shit or it is the shit. I'm gonna go with the former as opposed to the latter. And then at the end, we're gonna wrap it all up with talking about some of Timu's shady business practices. And I'll give you my final thoughts on whether I'll actually ever shop with these guys again. Okay, here we go. This is the Team U knockoff, non-rechargeable AAA batteries. Let's see what we can get for a measurement. 267.7. Now, here's the beast. Oh, it's a beast weighs like one ounce, feels like there's nothing in it. USB rechargeable, you ready? It's bright, we'll see. 258. Now this isn't completely scientific, but it does give you an idea of how bright these flashlights actually are. So I figured the easiest way to test out the little aquarium pump is take a five gallon bucket from Harbor Freight, fill it to overflowing, and then we will see how fast we can pump one liter at a time out of it. Got my little Malief power inverter that takes a DeWalt battery, gives you an AC plug, and I repeated this test four times. All four times it took me exactly 11 seconds to get one liter out of the bucket, which translates into just under one and a half gallons per minute. Just want to let you know my expectations were low on this and I was really really surprised. So I set it out here kind of vaguely facing southwest. We had one percent and we went one hour on the wait. Just set it up here on this little table, put it inside the uh, little cooler so it wouldn't get too hot and yeah you'll see where I put the panel right there. Yep just like that a strong gust of wind would have blew it over for sure. I left it for an hour, we come back out and the phone wasn't overheated, it never blew off. Remember, this was about four o'clock in the afternoon, so not real hot, and we got 24%. So I guess the results speak for themselves. Let's talk about the solar panel first. It was listed at a 30 watt capacity. I just recently tested an 18 watt foldable panel from Harbor Freight, and to put this into perspective, one hour in the same backyard around the same time of day, I got 13% charge in an hour. This chintzy little cutting board looking solar panel gave me a 24% charge in an hour. I was actually blown away. I came in with zero expectations for this tiny little thing. It's light as a feather. It has grommets on it to hang it from your backpack or on a wall. It showed a USB extension cable in the pictures, but it didn't come with it. It did come in a box with some bubble wrap. I was quite impressed with this solar panel. Now let's go on to the next one, and that's a AAA flashlight, the little metal pen light. It might have been the favorite of the bunch. I'm not sure. It's a toss-up between the pen light and the solar panel. But it's a metal pen light for less than five bucks, and it takes AAA batteries. It rated at 267 lumens instead of the advertised 500. Here's the deal, though. I still would have bought it at less than $5 if they'd advertised it at 250 lumens. The bad, the pump. Here's the thing. Once again, it delivered the capacity it was rated for. I measured 330 liters per minute. It was listed at 350 liters per minute. That is within a margin of error. It advertised two threaded barb fittings. Mine didn't come with either of those fittings. And to top that off, the top fitting place wasn't even threaded. This thing feels like a toy. All plastic construction, I don't think it's going to last very long. I don't know how to convey to you how much I don't like this product. Tactical flashlight. It had all the features the ad said, so there was no lying at any point in this ad. I need to tell you this. It's just a piece of crap. Simple as that. It comes with the USB-C micro. It is so light, even with the battery in it. I just assumed there was no batteries that came with it. The first time you drop this thing on a hard surface... I would say it would shatter into 100 pieces, but the damn thing's so light that I don't know if it would break. It's bright. It'd do in a pinch, I suppose, but 
of the four, this was the one I was the least impressed with. So what are my thoughts on this Timu experience? All the cool kids are talking about it. And I figured why not jump on the bandwagon and give it a shot? It's a coin toss of what kind of quality you're going to get. I got two that were great, one that was so-so, and one that was horrible. When I opened the package, I was absolutely blown away. I thought I was in for a pile of junk. So some things did exceed my expectations. The solar panel and the pen light far exceeded my expectations. Packaging, it leaves a lot to be desired. When it showed up, there was no protection whatsoever. It was basically just a bunch of the products thrown into a plastic shipping bag and call it a day. It reminds me of how Wish used to ship. They gave me a shipping arrival date guarantee and it showed up on that date. Timu was way faster than Wish ever was. The prices, they're super low, even compared with Amazon, if you can find a comparable item on there. The company itself has had some bad press lately. The parent company that owns Timu has been caught using malware and spying on their customers in the past. So you need to be aware of that. I would suggest not downloading the app. I didn't. Just order things directly from your browser. I also have my suspicions that they're running this company like a massive loss leader to get into the North America market. Just seemed too good to be true. I have my suspicions in a year or two, you're going to see those prices jump up immensely once Timu becomes almost as synonymous as the name of Amazon. They've been using influencers to peddle their wares like crazy. That's neither here nor there, except that a lot of the stuff that some of the influencers are pushing, not real good quality stuff. They have a video game style program built into their app that they try to get you hooked on to try to win free product. And it's one of those dangle a carrot at the end and it never quite works. I'm not going to be shopping on Timu anymore, except if this video blows up and you guys like this and you want me to do more, I will be the murder and order a bunch of junk on Timu and we can test it out. So if you're interested in that, throw it in the comments. But here's the deal. Buyer beware when purchasing from this company because I've read a ton of stories online that refunds can be hard to come by. And to be honest, they probably count on the fact that you're not going to fight too hard for a $4.37 refund on a tactical flashlight that wouldn't last four minutes anyhow. So I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the prepping gear from Timu. It was interesting. I'm glad I did it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you're entertained by it. And if you're still here at the end of this video, that means I made this video for you. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and you'll get more just like this. And if you're into this sort of thing, another video of mine you might really like would be the Malief adapter that slides onto a DeWalt battery and gives you a 120 volt outlet plug. You saw me use it to power the pump in the video today. So check that out. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.